なんね。
shopping vlog of sorts um i finally got to go to the local gotwell's books store um, in my area since it had been completely renovated over the last week basically um so it's kind of crazy seeing it for the first time where there's just so much more open space um with the way everything has been reshuffled throughout the place though it was very odd to suddenly see that like what used to be like the teen and YA section was now like where they put all of their Christian stuff like baptism supplies and like tithing records and all, all of those church supplies so that that was definitely a change um but there was a lot of it that was Still the same as usual like the back corner still had all like the baby kids books and the toy section was still in the same spot but pretty much everything else had moved <laughs> so it took a little bit of time to get my bearings but i really like the new setup it feels like there's so much more that they're able to fit in the store without it feeling very claustrophobic claustrophobic like it was kind of getting before when they were adding in some of the church supplies over the last year or two and just kind of squeezing it in wherever it fit in the aisles. So I, I, I do think it was kind of needed. <laughs> um, but anyways, it was exciting to get back to the bookstore because I haven't been to Gotwell's in a hot minute and to also just have that extra like joy of seeing like everything revamped was nice. <laughs> So, I spent probably about two hours taking my time um, wandering through places. I tried to film what I could, but um, sometimes it was a little hard because there was a decent few other people here and there that I kept kind of like crossing paths with and it's just like, don't notice my camera's just chilling on the shelf or that I'm like videotaping right now, please. But I did it. <laughs> so anyway, um, on to the books that I ended up choosing while I was at Owls today. Uh, so let's see if I can hopefully maybe go in order. We shall see if I can because I definitely did not put them in order. And I believe this was the first book I picked up. And that is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, which I originally started looking at it because I was curious if it was in any way related to the Ugly series that I have, um, and so it was right next to them, and I know there is a fairly recent book that he put out that I'm pretty sure is actually like somehow related, but couldn't remember if this was the title or if it was a different one. But this one does seem to be unrelated because when I actually read through the description, it definitely doesn't seem to have anything different. I mean, anything to do with uglies. But then again, I haven't really read uglies since like middle school and maybe only just like the first book. Because at this point, when I think back to uglies, I 
get this weird memory of like the opening part of the host confused with it and i'm pretty sure that i'm just remembering the host like for some reason they just know that what i'm thinking of when i think of what i've read in the uglies is actually the opening part of the host and i don't know why they got combined i'll find out when i get to reading the series i can't um, but this actually was related to a girl getting into the world of book publishing in New York. So that's why I actually ended up picking it up because I'm like, yes, that sounds very intriguing to me, Kidney. So, yeah, that's the first book that I chose. And then I believe... The next one I wound up with is this one here, which is This Heart of Mine by CC Hunter. And I will be honest, I did not look at the description while I was at the store because this has been on my wish list for probably two years, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the books that I originally, the cats are wrestling. Leo, it's this. Come on, guys. Separate. And, um, I'm pretty sure I first came across this book as uh, I first discovered Book Outlet and went through like all of the books. And. I would put them outside, but Ace knows how to open the door to come right back in. Hey! Do I just kick out you, baby kitty? Did you just go outside? Did you open it? Come back? Show up? Nice to be here. and he can hopefully behave on his own in here. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure this is one of the numerous titles that I saved when I went through a thorough check of the books on Book Outlet a couple years back. Um, yeah, it is one that I put on my wish list. And so I might as well recheck it now. Uh, I have a vague idea something to do with a heart transplant. There was a couple of them that had like the similar title. The other one I already do have, I think. No, I don't. I almost got it from Second Hand Trials a couple of times, but I haven't actually gotten it yet. The other one is like the heart between us, I want to say. There's a similar theme to it. Also, the arc that I have on my immediate wish uh, for the TBR. Everything I thought I knew, I'm pretty sure, is also related to a heart transplant. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, so this one is heart transplant, and she finds out the donor was a boy from her school that supposedly killed himself. And so she starts having dreams after the transplant that may potentially like have a clue as to how he actually died. And so that is what this one was. And so I, those were the two books that I got that are like teen YA section. And then I moved on into sci-fi and fantasy like generally and then general general fiction and managed to initially just completely stumble upon this other long-term resident of my wish list which is Someday Someday Maybe by Lauren Graham. 
um, which I've had on my wish list for, again, probably about two years, if not slightly longer, at least since like 2019, some point when I read um, Talking As Fast As I Can by her. Because I grew up as an Happy Come Up Boys fan, so I've been very intrigued to see like how the actual like fiction story written by her reads. See how good it is. Um, and this one is basically where the girl goes to New York to pursue her dream and similar to many of the other tons and tons of stories on that general topic but all the same it's Lauren Graham I want to see how her writing is as opposed to when it was just a memoir before and then the last of uh, well the only other fiction book that I ended up picking up is actually a secondhand book of the month edition um, which I end up getting fairly often at Cotwells I even spotted like probably five different book of the month copies scattered throughout the store. None of that were the same title of course, but still intriguing to just spot the little logo on the shelf. Um, and this is from the May 2019 box. It's called Necessary People by Anna Petoniak. And pretty sure I had book of the month when this came out, so like I did vaguely like have a little flag go up in my brain when I saw the title sticking out and it happened to be like right next to where I put my camera at one point which is why it also kind of like stuck out to me and this one is basically where these two girls Stella and Violet are best friends but growing up one of them has always kind of like overshadowed the other and so when they leave school and graduate they kind of drift to different areas and so the one girl who was usually being overshadowed in the past ends up um, getting a job at a news agency however, what's the word that they called it i'm blanking at the moment news network i guess would be the term that I'm looking for um, and so she starts doing writing for the show and everything and behind the scenes work but then the other girl ends up coming back into her life and gets a job at the same network and then ends up actually being like on camera and like essentially getting credit for all the work that the first girl's been doing at the show and so yeah there we go. So it's definitely sounding like some thriller aspects in there. <laughs> and then the last book that I got is actually technically a repurchase. Um, and that is when I finished off my trip going through the biography and memoir section and found a decently, uh, a decent quality copy of Robin by Dave Itzkoff. I have purchased this book from the same Gutwell's location a couple years ago when it was in hardcover and it was fairly, like, I think it was a pretty new release at the time. Um, but I've had it on loan to Sasha for ages and since I did find this cheap copy that was in good edition, I am actually going to be swapping this with my original copy with Sasha so that Sasha can actually keep this one and then yeah we will all be happy because of the two I would like the hardcover but also I know they've been wanting to read it and I don't know if they actually got into reading the other copy but I mean it's Robin Williams so like even if they if Sasha has already read it there's a number of other family members that will also greatly appreciate it, so there we are. And so yeah, that is all of the books from the Got Walls trip for this week. 
and it was super fun getting to get back into like got wells shopping because it's been a hot minute and hopefully i will get to go to the other location down in warner robin soon but we shall see how that pans out since it is a little bit further of drive from this one um yeah can you hear leo like prowling outside the door he's doing his weird like purring meow thing i don't really know how to describe it where he goes meow. Whenever he's like in a super playful mood, like you'll usually hear him like make that noise and then he just goes darting across oh, like that. <laughs> yeah. Great day kind of chilling out and kind of just exploring this updated store at my own pace to a degree. A little bit awkward at times with trying to get shots made but we did it i hope everything was interesting to kind of check out one of my local bookstores and definitely if you are in georgia specifically like central georgia area look up got walls if you haven't heard of it or gone there definitely look into it because they are awesome anyway um that pretty much covers it for today and in the meantime if you need me i'll be reading Je suis fidèle